Well, how do there, chums? It is I, Captain Stephen. Today, chums, for you guys, in the view of verse, I am going to be hatching an egg. Well, I hope to be hatching an egg. To be honest, I think they take 24 hours to hatch, so I don't know. Let's see how we get on. Well, hello there, buddy. I want you to lay an egg for me. Right, OK. I need to give you some treats. Lovely jubbly, so you can lay your egg. Oh, it says not native climate. OK, well, I'm sure it should have been an airless world, and I'm on an airless world. OK, that's a little bit odd. OK, well, let's hit on up. Let's have a look-see what your native climate is, my little wormy friend. OK, fudge. It's a scorched, a scorched planet. I need to go to a scorched freaking planet. Right, so I need to head on up to a station, and go from my discoveries page, and then walk back to a station that has a scorched planet. I'll see you up in the station, chums. So here I am, up inside of the station, and look at this little blue floating cube I found, like a little holographic projection that's gone astray. Yes, I've seen other streamers cover this little cube, and yeah, I find that it lives over by the appearance modifier. So I was just changing my jetpack trails from the Gungie one to like just a normal thruster, because I don't really like the Halloween Gungie one. But you know what? It looks like that little 3D cube is like the little 3D cube over there inside the box. It looks like there's one that's escapticated. Yes, and whenever you do a reload, it reappears. Anyway, here I am on a scorched planet. And yes, I'm just going to make sure my little chap is well fed. There you go. Boom. Can you lay an egg? Yes, you can. Lay a little egg for me. Chick, 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 No I want one for my tea. Heck yes. Hussum. It's not quite a chicken, is it? It's a giant freaking worm. I didn't even know worms laid eggs. Must be a thing. Yes, because in the man's sky. Right, so here we go. We've got our egg. Brilliant, but it does say that I've got to wait 24 hours, but I've got all my lovely ingredients. The fleshy rope, the vile spawn, and the cursed dust. And we're going to be using this to see if we can change the worm's head. Because lots of people in my comments hit me up and said, Captain Steve, what you want to do is uh, try all the new cursed stuff on the worms. Because the worms are new, and those items are new. So here I am. I'm up in the Nexus, and this is 24 hours later. I've still got all my goodies inside of my inventory. Lovely jubbly. So let's run on up to the egg machine, and we will see if we can change the worm's head to be something pretty darn freaking special. Heck yes. So at the moment, chums, I've only managed to get it to unlock one new head that looks like a pepper mill, but it gives the worm a nice spiky rectum. Yes, it does. So yeah, you know what? I'm going to stick my egg in, and um, what I'm going to do is just use the gene splashing, and we're going to use one of those lovely new items inside my inventory. So here we go. Let's uh, try the Vol Spawn first, shall we, chums? Not there. Not the Holy... It's not freaking there. Neither is the Cursed Dust. Neither is the Fleshy Rope. Right, well, this was a waste of freaking hours. And I'm talking freaking hours upon hours. Awesome biscuits. So, yeah, you know what? Let's just use a Larval Core. Let's use Lava Course. Let's see what that freaking does then. But I bet it's just going to give me the one freaking result. Okay, well, that's a massive overdose. We have seven of them. Let's try and split that down. Let's go for five. Let's go for five. Okay, that's 140 odd. Oh, fudging heck. Ask some biscuits. I just wanted, I wanted to be under. I don't really want an overdose. Let's just try two. For fudge sake. Right, okay. Let's try freaking one then. Let's one Lava Core. Still overdosed, but it's 100%. Okay, we'll give that to care. We'll see if that changes the head. Right, so you know what? I'm just going to hatch this out as soon as it comes out of the egg machine. Dun, 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 dun. Very Pokemon-like. Heck yes. And yeah, we're going to hatch this right up in the Nexus. And then I'm just going to do a reloading and load load of my save if we get the same head. Because I'm fairly sure it's just going to give us that Peppermill head and a spiky backside. So let's see if we get... Yes, it is exactly what I predicted. It would be... So I made a video the other day where I tested shed loads of stuff and I got that exact same freaking worm. Go check that out up there. But now I'm going to reload and I'm going to try and make a Godzilla worm. I'm going to go crazy town on my freaking egg. Yes, I am. So rejoin me for that. Important announcement time. If you haven't already liked and subscribed and hit all the other sort of shenanigans that you can hit, or even shared this video out to some of your friends who play No Mandy Sky, maybe it's time that you did. Heck yes, if you're liking what you see with your eyeballs and hearing with your ear holes, please do. Until next time. Important announcement over.
Right there, so I reconvene. Yes, I'm gonna run back on up to the egg machine. Reconvene to the egg machine. Here we go. Yes, I was in my pajamas in that little segment. Yes, with a gnarly steampunk hat and red tinted glasses. And yes, that was a harmonica and my skills of the harmonica playing. Yes, it was. So let's head on over to the egg machine and let's hit on up my egg. When I say I'm gonna go crazy town on this, I'm gonna use. Okay, get this. So I'm gonna say this fairly quick. You're gonna see it on the screen as well anyway. But yes, I'm going to be using platinum inside of growth to make the growth super duper large. On the die, I might just put in all sorts of stuff, but neural calibration to make it sort of pretty aggressive, I'm putting inside, I'm using a pugnium in there. I'm just going crazy on gene splicing and dye. I'm just putting in whatever I've got just hanging about inside of gene splitting and the dye. But I'm putting in some pugnium to uh, make it sort of a little bit more aggressive. Then after the pugnium, I'm going to be putting in a paraffin finium to make it a little bit more playful so it's going to be aggressive and playful so yes you might think that it's playing around with you but no it's going to be trying to tell you a new freaking rectum and guess it is there we go let's put this into there and that's into that now i can go for the paraffinium to make it super playful and lovely jubbly so hopefully i'm going to get a hundred percent aggressive a hundred percent playful <laughs> yeah what a combination and hopefully it's going to be super big. As soon as it goes and says inherited, that means it's as big as it's going to get. So it's already ginormous. Apparently it's ginormous. But we shall see, because I think they've actually capped the size. If you mutate your worm, the size is capped to a rather small size. But as you can see, I went mental on the freaking platinum to make it super large. Oh look, let's just fly to a freaking random base as well. Let's make this totally random. So I'm going to get a random worm at a random base. It's random day. Heck, yes it is. So whose base is this? Whose base have I gone and visited? There we go. It is. So yes, there you go, Dr. Nickett. Your base has been showcased in one of my videos. Yes, it has. I say showcase. We're not going to take a massive look around. I mean, it's landing pads, basically, here, isn't it? It serves the needs, I suppose. Serves the needs. Let's, right, let's hatch this freaking egg. No, it won't let me hatch it on the landing pad. Awesome biscuits. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's put him over here then. Brilliant. We'll stick him there. Boom. Doesn't look like a very big egg. I know. I know. It's, after you mutate it, it's kind of locked, like I say, to a certain size. And this seems to be the size that it gets locked at. I have seen people flying around on massive worms. I don't know how they're actually pulling that one off. I have seen the Professor Cynical use cadmium to grow his worm to a massive size to the point that nearly crashed his PC. But yeah, it seems to be only work on PC. I mean, I've tried using cadmium as well, and my worm still came out this size. So yes, it doesn't seem to matter what I do to my worm, it still comes out this size, with this sort of head and the spiky freaking rectum. But I have managed to get the actual stats of my worm fairly high. I've managed to 100% it in two different areas, so at least that's done. But you know what? I think the numbers here are just for show as well, really, because that makes no freaking difference. It just makes it fly around and rain turd from the sky. You know what? I actually think that this worm looks a heck of a lot better. It's got better animation, and it actually is longer than the worm that I've just mutated. This one I didn't mess with. I just hatched this straight away and it looks freaking epic. Well, I think it does. I think it looks vastly better than my other worm. So people inside of my comments have said, maybe you need to hatch a baby with the pepper mill head. Wait till that lays an egg, and then try mutating that baby's egg. I tried all this with beetles in the past, chums, or droids, and yeah, I didn't get any changes. Any changes at all. I also tried it with those sort of battle cats, like it looks like out of He-Man. Yeah, same thing. They seem to be locked. It seems to be that the gene splicing is a little bit shite, to be fair, chums. Yes, it's something that Hello Games has implemented that seems to have... It, it could have had shed loads of death, but no, it's like like a freaking puddle. But well, there we go, people. Hopefully they come back and revisit these things and polish them. Anyway, you guys have been freaking excellent, and I'll see you again next time, people, because at the moment, it doesn't feel worth actually messing with the eggs. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit a like and a subscribe, and I'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on Patreon and over on YouTube membership. Thanking you, backers. And if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve a little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.